This is unquestioningly a joyous event to be celebrated and remembered for years to come. Roxy. But we must also remember that this is an event which deserves to be contemplated and honored with deep reverence for a lifetime commitment that these two are making to each other and Roxy. <laughs> we celebrate with them the unconditional love of okay. Roxy. Yeah, of Roxy and them. <laughs> Roxy's just hanging out. That's great. We celebrate with them the unconditional love that they have discovered in each other, and we support their decision to commit themselves to one another. Good. 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 Marriage is not a relationship to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but thoughtfully, reverently, and with gratitude for the past and hope for the future. It is with great love for each other that Kathleen and Eric come today seeking to be united as husband and wife. If any of you have any reason why they should not be here today, why did you show up? Shut your mouth. No one wants to hear it. That's nonsense from movies about your life. Kathleen and Eric are two souls that were destined to end up together. They first met as kids when Kathleen moved to town. And as Eric said, I'm gonna blow up your spot a little bit, he wanted to introduce her, introduce himself to her before she learned how much of a nerd he was. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> it did work and they became closest of friends. Years later, Kathleen all excited. It was prom night, and her date, the idiot, he bailed. he bailed. He left her. He stood her up. Eric ran out and got a tux so he could take her. No. When you have a moment at some point tonight, there's a picture of their prom night. It is amazing. <laughs> it's a great picture. It really was just like out of a movie. Life happened. And they drifted apart. One of them moved to Wales. That would be me. <laughs> and then technology intervened. When her daughter was teaching her about this new thing called Facebook, who was the first person that Kathleen decided to look up? It was Eric. They reconnected and now, well, we're in the backyard watching we're about to get married. Kathleen and Eric, you fell in love by chance, maybe fate, but you're here today because you're making a choice. You're choosing each other. You have chosen to be with someone who enhances you, who makes you think, who makes you smile, and makes every day better than the last. You're gaining a partner in life who will be there to support you through everything the world throws at you. You will today be making promises to each other that you intend to keep. You will vow to take care of each other, to stand up for one another, find happiness in the other. There's a simple premise to each of these promises. You're vowing to be there. You're teaming up and saying, every experience I am going to have, I want you to be a part of. I'm now going to make sure you understand what you're about to do. As if the months of planning, organizing. Three months to be exact. Last minute cleaning, <laughs> extension cord running, mic fixing, all that. As if that wasn't clear, including all the all of us sitting here, we just want to make sure you understand. <laughs> Kathleen? Yes. Do you take Eric as your husband? I do. Will you endeavor unto him to be a faithful, loving, and supportive companion? Even during the trials, heartache, and disappointment that you might face, will you always remember the fierce commitment that you have with this man and promise him about all your days of your life by his side? You're stuck with me, man. Awesome. <laughs> Eric, will you take Kathleen as your wife, endeavor unto her to be a loving, faithful, and supportive companion, and even during the trials, heartache, and disappointment you may face, will you always remember to be the fierce commitment that you have with this woman and promise to live out all the days of your life by her side. I do. 
right answers. Now, there's one other person here who is very, very important. Where is Brantley? Are they still attached? They are. The rings are still attached. Fantastic. Brantley, so walk over there, and they're going to untie the rings. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, give a round of applause for Brantley, the best yeah. ring bearer. Definitely the best dress, 100%. Yes. Brantley, awesome dress. Thank you, sweetheart. Good job. Wedding rings are simple bands. But when they are worn, they become magical. Your rings say that even in your individual uniqueness, you have chosen to be bound together. Let these rings also be a sign that love has substance as well as an essence, a present and a past. And that despite its occasional sorrows, love is an endless circle and source of happiness, of wonder and delight. May these rings remind you always of the vows you've taken here today. Kathleen. You're going to place the ring on Eric's finger and repeat after me. Who's your left hand, right? Left hand. Eric, I give you this ring. Eric, I give you this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. With all that I have. With all that I have. I am honored to call you my husband. I am honored to call you my husband. From this moment until forever. From this moment until forever. <laughs> Eric, it's your turn. Please place this ring on Kathleen's finger and repeat after me. Kathleen, I give you this ring. Kathleen, I give you this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. With all that I have. With all that I have. I am honored to call you my wife from this moment until forever. We did it. We did it. There's a Scottish tradition that when two people get married, the couple join hands, and then a ribbon or cord is wrapped around them. Oh, yeah, we Honored have. family members will tie the cord into a knot, which is where we get the expression, tying the knot. You sure you don't want to do the, the other blue's just you don't trip into over it. each other. Yeah? Hand fasting represents, quite literally, the binding of two people who are in love and committed to spending their lives together. As the hands are bound together, we are witnessing the binding of okay, Kathleen okay. and Eric's lives to one another. And doing the binding is Kathleen's mom, Virginia Johnson, and That's Eric's okay. mom, Janice Metzger. Yep. 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 Double, triple knot so they can't get out of it. <laughs> you have to get out of this. <laughs> no, there's no way you can get out of it. <laughs> Kathleen and Eric? I ask you both, as you stand in the presence of your family and friends, to remember that love and loyalty alone will not prevail as a foundation of a happy and enduring home. No other human ties are more tender, no vows are more sacred than those that you now assume. If these vows are kept unbroken, if you steadfastly endeavor to live life according to the best that is within you, your life together will be full of joy and the home will be full of peace. Kathleen, repeat after me. <coughs> I, Kathleen, choose you, Eric. I, Kathleen, choose you, Eric. To be my husband. To be my husband. I will respect you, care for you, and grow with you. I will respect you, care for you, and grow with you. Through good times and hard times. Through good times and hard times. As your friend, companion, and partner. As your friend, companion, and partner. Giving the best that I can. Giving the best that I can. To fulfill our lives together. To fulfill our lives together. Eric. Please repeat after me. I, Eric, choose you, Kathleen, to be my wife. I, Eric, choose you, Kathleen, to be my wife. I will respect you, care for you, and grow with you. I will respect you, care for you, and grow with you. Through good times and hard times. Through good times and hard times. As your friend, companion, and partner. As your friend, companion, and partner. I'm giving the best that I can. I'm giving you the best that I can. To fulfill our lives together. To fulfill our lives together. Kathleen and Eric, by coming here today, you've reached a crossroads in your lives. You're turning away from your yesterdays and looking ahead to your tomorrows. Your past is a memory, your future is a waiting adventure. It is a new dawn, a new commitment, and a new life. 
friends. Robins, country and country men. Dogs. <laughs> kittens. <laughs> nope, kittens are inside. Beardy dragon. <laughs> it is with great pleasure that I present to you for the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Metzger. Eric, you can scoop <laughs> And now you did it. Now, now you did it. We did it. Yeah. Now you got to help me. That was too easy. Oh, really? Now he tells me. Now he tells me. Thank you, everybody, for coming. I never heard of Alfred. I got a narrative. I got a narrative. She was there for him. You made it. How are you? Because I was driving. Mary. Can you do it over again. I missed the first part. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. We have a so beer and wine is, over at the bar. Right. I'm changing my shoes. Yes. <laughs>